Good morning. It's just, the days here are just flying by. It's so peaceful and it's just lovely here. Um, anyway, today I'm gonna show you down below on Norval because I've had so many people ask me, hey, we don't see much of down below, so let's check it out. Um, I'm boiling the kettle for another cup of tea. Um, obviously the galley, my new fridge is in here. You can see we're at four degrees. Uh, the sink that I use here is an old fashioned pump and it's, it's beautiful, but I was going to get rid of it and put one of those plastic whale pumps in it, but I just couldn't do it. So I've installed this little rubber switch and, and now it works really well. Uh, the fridge, which you guys have seen, which is just an ice box. You see, I've got one beer in there and some milk. Lots of chocolate, <laughs> still. Uh, this is all stainless steel. Um, so my, my mug, my Tetley tea here. Um, the new nets I've got going on here. I put those up a few days ago. A couple of pots and pans of bang around out in the ocean here. Kind of a nice sound, I like it. Uh, the table, so the, well, well, we'll keep going here. So the, this is a navigation area, but really this is where I kind of make my movies. So there's a little, a little seat you fold up and you sit down here. And this is sort of a navigation area. Not that you do much navigation nowadays, but uh, my laptop, the radar, depth sounder and my uh, EP Ever solar controller here, a new inverter which I paid about $50 for off eBay. Uh, it's working a treat, so it's good. Uh, this is the stereo that I use on the boat. It's just a Bluetooth waterproof speaker. We bought that in Canada and it's awesome. It works really well. So that's my uh, navigation area. Some bits and pieces in here, you know, a head torch which you need, an EPIRB, uh, my GoPro rig. I've got a lot of, obviously, camera stuff on the boat. I've got several hard drives for all of my movies. God knows how many USB leads are just coming out everywhere. Uh, this bunk used to basically look like this side. Uh, and then one time in Canada, I ripped it all out with an axe and made put this futon in and we recent, recently uh, we cut it all and stitched it so now most of the time was spent here with a lee cloth uh, sort of pushed up in here so we didn't fall out at sea and it was really comfy we spent six full days in this in this bed uh, literally because it was so rough outside we were taking big green waves over the deck so we stayed down here uh, now and again, I'd go on deck, stick my head out and look and go, yep, storm jibs up, double reef main, Charmaine steering, came back down. So we stayed down here for, for days. Um, the table, so I used to have this beautiful table that would fold up and there was storage and it was really lovely. I've still got it into the friend's house, but because the boat's quite a small, you know, it's, a, I mean, it's 46 foot on deck, but because she's an old wooden boat, um, there wasn't much room in this in this main cabin. So what I've done is I've just made this little, uh, there's a block and tackle here, and I just basically just pull it down. And, and that's my table. It works all right, I need to, I need to put this piece on here. Um, so it folds away properly and it doesn't move side to side like it is now. So that's just another another thing to do. Um, but you just pull it and kind of goes out the way. So this will obviously lie flat. 
against the mast when it's when it's done. Um, it's my tea, my, my water bottle. Uh, this is kind of storage. I've got a couple of kites. I've been kite surfing for a long time, which I'll show you guys some stage. Uh, a tripod, a whole bunch of lenses, and a DSLR in there, which uh, I use a lot taking photos. Um, all the beautiful portholes. These are all LEDs. Uh, my racing drone here, just like 200 kilometers an hour. My drone for getting video. It's a uh, alien warp, uh, alien uh, quad. It's fast. It's the GoPro sits on the front, and I've got an FPV camera so I can see where I'm going. Another copter up here, which is just uh, a line of sight fun copter. Um, so that's the main. So then you've got to kind of dock through through under this beam here, and then go up forwards. Uh, there's Charmaine. I only actually use this big paddle because. 20 knots you meant to go to a smaller paddle, but I wasn't game enough to hang off the back of the boat and change it. You gotta literally hang off the back of the boat, and I'm like, nah, I don't wanna do that. So the big one stayed on there and it worked all right. Uh, so this obviously starboard side bunk, it's six foot two or something, so I can get in here. Um, and it's real comfy, I think I'm gonna get a lee cloth for it as well. So the lee cloth will come in and stop me from falling out. Uh, there's a companionway here as well, so I've got the stairs and the companionway, uh, so it's separate. And then uh, another kite and a bunch of sails. i got a couple of sails on deck as well, but this is my brand new jib and the old jib and a storm sail and then the number one Genoa's up on deck. Um, here's obviously the anchor locker. Hello, mate. It's Tondo. Oh. He's coming back. He's coming back. Out your head there, Tondo. Uh, the anchor locker. Dirty, smelly, uh, sort of, I don't know how much chain I've got, but there's got to be at least a couple of hundred meters. Um, so that's the forward cabin. There's storage space behind here. It's quite a good storage space. Storage space in here where Aaron and I put the new shelves in. Uh, storage space under here. Um, so that's the Ford's cabin. So yeah, you just got to duck through, duck through this under this beam here, uh, and then I'll put this seat down. So it makes it easy to get through. So now I've got to crawl through here, which is our aft cabin. Uh, my electric, all my circuit boards are here. It's old-fashioned, but it works so well. Um, down here, this opens up, and the engines in here. So you've got side um, access. The fuel tank was on starboard and port side. I'm good for motoring for four full days of motoring. Um, oh, so yeah, you got to crawl through there. It's my dirty washing. Uh, so there's a little spot here. Um, I've got dirty washing here. Jumpers, shoes. All my clothes, or some of my clothes here. Um, a really big bed. It's got to be a queen size bed, I guess. The beautiful windows at the back here. So oh, it's really lovely waking up here in the morning and just looking out. And you know, you've got the beach just here. The boat's moved around a bit. There's a Canadian canoe out back here. Charmaine, which I love watching Charmaine when the the uh, paddles down and you can see it working in the water that's really lovely but um yeah so some more clothes off off this side and then the decks are all teak so they're solid teak they're probably nearly an inch thick so that's that's the deck here um but she's this whole cabin hasn't been painted so it's pretty dirty it needs to be painted out um now i've got a nice forwards cabin there i'll i'll paint I'll paint this out and then I'll put a piece of plastic or something uh, down on here just to keep the, the smell out. But uh, a diesel heater, I was going to get rid of it, but I've got a feeling I'm going to use it someday. Not here in Australia, 
but uh, someday I will. These these butterfly hatches are amazing. They're so lovely. It doesn't matter what time of day, where the wind's blowing, you're always going to get a breeze through there. Um, so the engine's back here. Uh, I got a foot pump here. Uh, the toilet, and there could be a shower in here, but there isn't. Um, so yeah, when sitting in here on the toilet, uh, you kind of grab on, grab on here, and your feet are sort of on this ledge here, and you can you can stop yourself from falling out the toilet, uh, or you can hold onto this, hold onto here. But it's it's pretty good in here. Like you can't really stand up um, in this whole aft cabin. The only place you can stand up is really uh, here, which is where the uh, the butterfly hatches so you see an older couple just sitting on the beach fishing it's just beautiful here man it really is it's lovely so that's that's the aft cabin um so yeah it's basically the, the tour of a novel uh, yeah my Obviously got another drone hanging up here. That's a DJI Spark and my electric skateboard, which right now has been, well, it gets charged from the inverter. Um, I'm gonna try and work out a way to charge it without the inverter, just to save a bit of power. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the boat. We, obviously the, the starter is here. Um, a few more switches up here for the radar, stern lights, mast headlight, compass light, step sounders. The EP Ever controller, which you guys seen. These instruments are, are from the old engine that was in, but these two still works. So I got water and oil pressure. The RPM, the RPM is uh, is now on starboard side here. And um, yeah, this is the only mirror that I have. Oh no, <laughs> this little mirror. Uh, and and this would be a medical cabinet. Uh, here's my bandages for my elbow, which I should have on and You know some some drugs and things like that uh, My little thing for my tea and salts and peppers. These will all have eventually all my uh, herbs and spices uh, in here I've got my Some some bits and pieces here um, You can see the compressor in the back there if I go inside here which is bolted down, of course. So I want to get some honey for my tea. Um, and these have all been changed so that they really lock in. Like you can close this like that, but it's not really closed. So like it really needs to, you see, you need to really close it so they don't pop open at sea. So they work pretty well. This stove obviously isn't gimbaled, but uh, I'm looking at putting the galley belts from here across to the main bulkhead so I don't fall out. I actually got thrown from here across the boat. I, I, I was actually, I always hold on, but I was looking in the mirror and uh, I was just, I put both my hands on my face and I was putting some cream on my face and I just got thrown over here so violently that this guy here, when this is shut, and my head went flying and almost hit this thing. So, it, yeah, like, I was on a, on a boat last night, a 42 foot um, Jano, I think. Uh, and it was huge inside, it's so wide. The, it's so beamy down below. I was thinking, how would you go out at sea in one of these things? Like, getting thrown around and, and going from, you've got so, you got a lot of way to travel from the port to starboard side. You're going to get thrown. So I don't know. Norvald's, although is wide, there's lots to kind of hold on to here. Um, but yeah, there's cool little things like this little step here. You know, at the bottom, it's got a couple of charges here and some screws and bits and pieces. But little things like that, I love. Obviously, you can get into the engine from here, um, and the same in the toilet as well. So yeah, that's the. Uh, that's the good old ship Narval. So it's been a while since I've kind of shown anybody down below 
um, if you haven't been following from the beginning, but here she is. She's a beautiful old boat. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my cup of tea now. <laughs> Thank you.